Hi, I'm Shannon Register with Register Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to another edition of Whiteboard Monday. Today I'm going to be talking to you about curb appeal. Whenever I sell a home, the sellers always want to know what can we do to help the home appeal to more buyers. And I give them a brief list of things that they can do, and I'm going to go over those with you today. Um, but you can go on our website at rrea.com, click on Sellers tab, and from there, you can get a complete list of um, things that you can do to improve your curb appeal on your home. It gives you things from the outside of the house, from the curb, all the way to the inside of the bathrooms, from ceiling to uh, floors. Everything you can do in between. There are hundreds of things. So I'm just going to touch on a few here. The first one is roof and gutters. If you have any shingles that are messed up, you need to go ahead and get those taken care of. Um, and any gutters need to be cleaned um, because buyers, it, it appears to buyers that sellers are not taking care of their home if it's got a lot of debris on the roof. So you want your roof to look good first. Then your lawn and landscape, um, you want to make sure you get some fertilizer on that lawn so it looks nice and green. Any of your landscaping that's gotten too out of control needs to be cut back. You want to get rid of weeds. You want to plant some flowers, make it look nice. Now here in Houston, it gets really hot in the summer and those uh, flowers look pretty wilty. So I don't recommend planting flowers in the summer, but if you're um, selling your home in the fall or spring, definitely want to put out some nice flowers. In the summer, go more tropical, do rock gardens. Um, there are lots of other things you can do a lot of nice mulches that you can go with instead of uh, putting flowers. And of course, in the winter, it's really hard to have any flowers. Um, sweep the uh, concrete areas and when needed, power wash them. And this also goes for chimneys because sometimes chimneys need power washing as well as the other concrete areas around your home. When the buyer walks up to the front door, you want it to seem really appealing to them. And so one way to do that is to make it very crisp, clean, um, make it look really nice, and the power washing in the garage can help you get rid of those um, stains in your garage. Maybe you had an oil leak. And um, power washing on the back patio can get rid of any algae out by the pool areas. The front door is very important. Everything else can look really good, but if you've got a front door with paint chipping off of it, um, the buyers are going to notice that right as they walk in the door, and it gives them a different image of your whole home. So you want to make sure that uh, you get your front door restained if that's what it needs. Screens and windows, make sure your windows are clean. Make sure all the screens are intact. And paint, you can always paint the inside or out. Um, and uh, improve the quality of the home. Oil, squeak, uh, oil squeaky areas. So for example, if you have a squeaky front door, make sure you oil it, squeaky uh, doors throughout the home, you wanna oil those as well. Squeaky garage door, make sure you oil that one too. Check your systems and filters. Um, your fans in the bathroom, you wanna make sure that you get those cleaned. Your um, air vents throughout the home, your return grills, change your filters and clean those. Your plumbing, you wanna make sure that all the water goes down correctly. Um, if you've got a, a running toilet, you wanna fix that. You wanna put uh, Drano or some sort of um, chemicals in your uh, plumbing system to make sure everything is flowing smoothly. You don't want any backups when people are running the water. Um, we talked a little bit about the garage already. Just make sure it's decluttered, cleaned up, and organized. Um, the closets, you're moving anyway. You're selling the house. So go ahead and pack up all that stuff in the closet that you don't need. Go ahead and put it in boxes, move it to a storage location, or stack it in the attic. Your lights and light bulbs. Buyers do not like to walk into a bedroom, flip the light switch, and no light comes on. Or three out of four of the bulbs work. Because they're wondering, is there something wrong with the light fixture? Do we now have an electrical problem? Or is it really just a light bulb? So just go ahead and replace all the light bulbs that are out. That way there's no question about your, uh, how your electrical system's working. Remove any political and religious stuff. This is probably the hardest thing for me to talk to about sellers. It's really hard to go into a preacher's home and tell them they need to remove religious uh, affiliations or uh, walk into a political consultant's home and tell them they need to tone down the, the, the politics. But it does, um, it, it is something that you need to be conscious and aware of um, that that plays into how a buyer feels about that home that they're going to be living in. So just be conscious about that. You also want to remove a lot of family pictures um, and if you have your children's name in the bedrooms or in the bathroom I always tell people to remove those you know if you've got um, your child's name written in letters above their crib I always say go ahead and take those down um, stretch the carpet it's not expensive to come in and steam clean and stretch the carpets so you definitely want to do that it gets rid of smells and odors and makes it look really fresh and nice
So these are just a few of the things that I tell my sellers when I list their homes. Obviously, the older the home is and the less maintained the home is, the more work it's going to take to get it ready for a buyer. But the more you maintain your home on a daily basis and an annual basis, the less you're going to have to do when you get ready to sell it. If you have any other questions about selling your home, give me a call, 281-288-3500. We have lots of agents here at Register Real Estate Advisors that will be happy to speak with you about selling your home. And again, you can find this and a lot more information at rrea.com. Click on the Seller tab, and then you can, from there you can find the whole list of things you can do to improve your curb appeal on your home. I'm Shannon Register. Thanks for joining me for another week of Whiteboard Monday.